Hello, there we go. So today I want to do something a bit different. I want to talk about potentially why there might be some resistance to the idea of a cheaper Gurdy. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because people value them. And we get that, I understand that. If you, I, mean, I collect instruments and I love them. And the reason we're trying to create the gateway Gurdy is not to devalue the instruments that exist or the makers that make them because it takes a lot of skill. And as I've said before, when you can apply that amount of skill, you're going to use the best materials, you're going to take your time, you do it well, and all those things add up to works of art. So most, most hardy gurdies are works of art, and they will hold their value, and they will be played and cherished, and that's great, and that should be the case. But what's missing is the missing link that exists in almost every other instrument on Earth. The lower tier, the starter level, and it doesn't have to be a thousand pounds, it doesn't have to be 750, it can be lower, and we'll show you, we'll get to that why. But more importantly, people will assume that, you know, I've got these up, my gurdies, my hardy gurdies, they're, they're, they're both decent gurdies, well I've got more actually, they're, they're decent gurdies, easily four figures, but they're not the most, they're not the most valuable instruments I own, um, but I'm doing about there, could be a contender, or just a talent at the top there, George Jones Concertina, the um, 1850, whatever it is, minstrel banjo, the uh, vintage arch top guitar, whatever, the, Hundred year old Wurlitzer sort of Bandolini. Who knows? I don't know exactly which one it is of the bass recorder or the or the or the, the, the harpsichord. Um, it could be one. Of the, it could be one of the violins. Um, I'll show you a violin actually. This is this is one. It's a bit special. This is a mere court violin. What's special about this is this is kind of the opposite I'm talking about. <laughs> this is this is kind of the literally the, the polar opposite because this is a child's violin made by a master, and what makes it rare is because. Massa didn't make Charles violin, so this one is very special. Um, it's beautiful. This could, this could be a contender. Uh, but if I had to guess what the most valuable instrument I own would be, I'd say it's probably this. It's a baseball like it. Now, we're talking about rare instruments and stuff. There's a few things up there that you don't see very often. There's two hurdy girders, the fact that there's four hurdy behind me, and there's more in the flat. There's a, a few other bizarre instruments to see. This is the only baseball like it I've ever seen, ever. And I, 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 I collect and I'm into weird instruments. It's the only bass one I've ever seen. Bizarre that the Zimmerman, who was the Luthier to Tsar of Russia, is incredibly well made. It sounds incredible. Um, it's impossible to put a price on him because he specialised in ballakers and he made, some of these ballakers are the best in the world. Um, but they don't sell very often, so the prices are kind of what we had to ascertain. What I do know is that a double bass made by the same maker sold recently at auction for 20 grand. So who knows? Who knows what it's worth? Um, but it's special. But like I say, with the Gateway Gurdy project, we're not trying to undo the value or the speciality or the importance of these instruments. What we're trying to do is fill in that first stage. Because someone mentioned the board recently. Imagine, imagine if, imagine an instrument that you can only get into if you're like, if you have a lot of money. Right, a lot of money, and we're talking like. Even, even beyond the, the the means of rich parents, we're talking like you know, folks my age with a bit of cash behind them who want to have a hardy gurdy. That's where you kind of start, unless you happen to be the you know the the child of a maker, or you happen to have very good connections, or unless you're very 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 lucky, then you're never gonna have a chance to really shine with it. Imagine a, imagine a world where gurdies could be pulled out of school, everyone everyone could get one and have a go at them. Imagine what, what creation what. Imagine what waits if a world like that exists, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a world where girdies are accessible to everybody, you know. And and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. Well, thanks for watching, and um, let us know if you want to do a bit of anything else up on the shelf or whatever.
ولا نعطيش